Okay, working on the Subscriber KX250, and in this video, we are gonna be replacing the swing arm bearings. And the bearing kit that we're gonna be using in this video came from Factory Links, so huge thanks to them for supporting this channel. All right, guys, now I'm a huge fan of OEM parts, but I added all the swing arm bearing components that are included in this kit into a cart, and the price was like $145, okay? Now, if you go to Factory Links, the whole kit, is like 75 bucks so it's almost double if you go OEM okay so it makes sense to just buy aftermarket quality parts for a job like this now I used uh, factory links parts in my 01 I have a video that's very detailed it's like 45 minutes long on how to inspect the swing arm bearings you know check for play and whatnot and then I went through a very detailed install process and those bearings are working great to this day so in this video, I'm gonna do it a little quicker, all right? It's not gonna be 45 minutes long. I'm gonna speed up the process, or the video at least, uh, so you can see how it works. Also in that 45 minute video, I think I used a vise for one side and a press for the other, so you can see uh, those two methods. In this video, I'm just gonna use a press because it's much quicker than uh, beating up the vise, right? Okay, so I'm gonna leave a link to Factory Links store right up here uh, definitely check that out if this is a job that you need to do on your year make and model okay so in this video we're going to be using the factory links swing arm bearing kit for the kx250 okay so let's give this let's open this up some stickers all right we have some seals four seals thrust bearings Spacers, washers, have two needle bearings, and then the sleeves. Okay, so that's everything to rebuild the entire swing arm. All right, so that's everything. Um, let's go and take a look at the, the current setup, the old bearings. Okay, so here's the swing arm, and the bearings actually don't look too bad, but what looks bad is the seals. Okay, and as you can see, this swing arm has been powder coated. Uh, none of this stuff was removed prior to powder coat so there's paint on these seals and they are very brittle now and some of these are torn so what's going to happen is these seals are going to deteriorate extra fast now and i ride in sand and sand will get in there and just trash everything and i have reason to believe that these bearings are probably original you know 15 plus years old so might as well just replace them all right let's start by removing the seals so i just got a pry bar here these are like glued in here, man. These things are hard as a rock. The seal lips. Okay, so in here are two washers and the thrust. That just hit me in the face. Okay, so that's what's in there, two washers with the thrust bearing in the middle. These are ready to be pressed out now. Okay, so here's the setup I'm gonna do on the press. Uh, here's the new bearing, and basically I found a socket that is smaller, a little smaller than the bearing, okay? Just a little bit, okay? And then I found a bearing that is, I'm sorry, a socket that is bigger than the bearing, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pass through here, put my socket on, Okay, press down on this extension, and what's going to happen is the bearing is going to push all the way to here. Okay, and there's plenty of length here to accept uh, this this bearing here. Okay, so that's the plan. Let me set it up. Okay, so there's the setup. Extension is going through this part, so there's no load being transferred from the press to this. It's all in here. Okay, so this socket's pushing down on the bearing. It's going to get accepted in here. This is nice and tight. Um, I got my face shield for safety. 
All right? And let's go. Okay, so I wiped the bores clean with a rag. They're nice and clean here. Um, now, what we're gonna do is, here's the new bearing, and I'm gonna put the numbering facing out, just because. And basically, I'm gonna push down with this setup here, and there's a step or a counter bore in here, so all I gotta do is push it until it, it meets that, until it's flush with that. So it needs to go down about that deep, okay? On the back side here, I'm gonna put a, you know, my extension through here, through this hole, and then this guy will be backed up here, okay? So that'll be the setup for the press in, in the bearing. Okay, here's the press setup for pushing the bearing in. See that? So let's do it. I got my shield on. Okay, right there I felt resistance, so it's bottomed out. Alright, so far so good. We got our bearings in and they come dry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load them up with some grease. And I like the Bell Ray waterproof grease. Okay, so I have a little brush here. That's all gooped up here. Let me try to clean it off a little bit. And I'm gonna massage it in with my finger. Get it really packed. Okay, next up we have a washer and there's like a rounded side and a flat side. I'm gonna make sure the flat side hits the thrust. Okay, so we'll put a little bit of grease on both sides here, why not? So rounded side down. There's a thrust bearing, so I'll just load it up. Okay, so that's well greased up. Drop it in there, grab another washer, and I'm just gonna put the flat side on, on there. Okay, so I'll put a little bit of grease on the lip. Okay, and then the closed end faces out with the numbering, okay? So that just goes on like that. Okay, I have a seal driver and I'm just gonna Give it some nice light taps here. Okay, the service manual calls that we need to sink this 40 thou below the thing, below the surface. Okay, so this driver is getting a little too big. I'll change it. Go. just popped in okay, we'll put a little more grease around the lips okay and then your steel 
spacer goes in and make sure you don't roll the lips. Alright, and then just wipe up the excess grease so you don't get all a bunch of dirt sticking to it. Now we're working on the same one, but we're going to be doing this side now. So we got to pop this seal in here. Okay, we got to drive this seal in 60 thou below the surface. Okay, I got my seal driver on there. I'll try not to damage any bearings here. So I'm just going to drive that guy in. Okay, I struggled with this one for a little bit, but I finally got it, and I actually had to lightly pry up on one side because it went too deep and it went in crooked, um, you know, given the angle here and everything. But it's sub flush, about a sixteenth of an inch, you know, like they like they said. Uh, so now you got to take one of these sleeves. So we'll put some grease on here. Okay, and we'll just slide it in. Okay, I'll wipe off the grease here so it doesn't collect dirt. Okay, go ahead and push that guy all the way in. Okay, that looks good. So it sticks out just a little bit because it hits the spacer on the other side. So you can go ahead and repeat this process for this uh, top piece here. It's the same exact deal. So I'm not gonna show that in this video, but yeah, just do that again. Okay, so this uh, swing arm is ready to be assembled. Okay, everything's put together, greased up, everything looks good. Um, I vapor blasted my shaft here. It was looking a little gross on the end, so I just kind of cleaned it up a little bit. And uh, I made sure this was all clean and I greased the shaft. So it slides in nice and then, you know, later on you can uh, remove it easily, okay? So go ahead and slide, slide the swing arm in. Engine's still loose because, well, you know, none of this is together yet. All right, go ahead and slide that guy all the way in. All right, so that feels smooth and nice. Put our washer and our nut here. There's absolutely zero play and it moves like butter. Okay, here's all the old stuff. Um, again, the bearings <laughs> sound a little crunchy, right? They're just dirty. Um, these things have powder coat all over it and then the seals were just completely, you know, they're, they're not gonna last long and they're gonna fail. I mean, they're brittle, they're really hard, hard as a rock, you know, from the oven and from the paint. So. Um, you know, just going through this whole bike, it's just good to, to redo all this stuff, you know? All right, guys, well, that's it for this video. Make sure to check out the factory link store. I'll leave the link in the iCard and in the video description. And stay tuned for the next video because we're going to tackle the linkage bearings next. Those were much worse than the swing arm bearings.